friends, how are we? I'm living, you know? Um, this is my, like, fourth time trying to make one of these videos because I think I love watching them, but I just feel so awkward filming them and I, like, forget to film everything I do. But a few weeks ago, like, two weeks ago when I was at home, um, I was making my parents watch some of my favourite YouTube videos. I made them watch the Disney Fast Pass video by Defunct Land. And then my mum was like, okay, you have to now watch this video that I like. And it was a knitting podcast, it was good. And then I showed her a video from Dobo Trevo, who's like one of my favorite YouTubers. She makes really fun, cute, like aesthetic, lifestyle vloggy things. And I'm just like, look at her live. Wish that was me, living like that. Um, <laughs> and my mum was like, you should do that. So this is for you, mum. I got you. Um, yeah, I'm back in Canberra now. I've been back for like... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, like five days. Uh, and I haven't been feeling well. I got COVID a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago now. Um, and I had to isolate in my room by myself. I got home because the rest of my family didn't get it. And I like had the mildest of symptoms. Like I had a little bit of a cough and a runny nose, but like I always have a runny nose. I have really bad hay fever, so it was fine. And then I finish my ISO, I test negative, I'm like, yay, let's go. And since then, since I've had to be back and out in the world, I've felt so shitty all the time. <laughs> I had never heard of this being a like symptom of like post-COVID, but I've been told that it is by my mum's friend who is like a healthcare worker and also has had COVID. I've basically been really nauseous all the time. Like I had the symptoms of being pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Um, like, I wake up feeling nauseous and I can't eat breakfast. And then also, because I, like, at home, even before I had COVID, I couldn't go many places. I couldn't walk anywhere because it was raining all the time. I got flooded into my hometown. So I was just, like, in my room, in my house all the time, not moving much. Whereas when I'm in Canberra, I fucking walk everywhere. I'm a walking gal. Um, because I wasn't moving much, my body is so pathetic at the moment. So, like... Yesterday at work, my back was hurting so much because I had to stand for like seven hours. And then I had to walk back from the like shopping center because I had to get some groceries and I went to the chemist as well. And just doing that, my calves are so sore. It's... Anyway, to help with the nausea, I've been given some um, homeopathic medication that they give to pregnant people. So that's fun for me. Um, but it's getting better. I'm getting there. So now I'm trying to get my shit together. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not together. I have class in like two days and I'm so unprepared. I, my original plan for the semester, I was supposed to come back to Canberra like two weeks ago. I wanted to be here on the 18th, but I didn't come back until, where's the calendar? The 21st and I've been in bed for three days, you know? So I couldn't do anything because I felt like shit all the time. And now it's, it's 12, it's almost midday and I still haven't done anything. It took me two hours to get up today. I'm a mess. So I'm trying to get my shit together and you're coming to come and watch. So today the plan is to get dressed, <laughs> finish my coffee, <laughs> maybe eat lunch from the hall, but apparently there's soup, which I was excited for because I love soup. I'm a soup gal, but apparently it's not good. So who knows? And then I want to go to the bookstore on campus and buy my textbook for political science. It's editing, Emily. Here, let me tell you about that textbook, okay? So I'm gonna probably say in a bit that um, they didn't have it and I had to get put on a wait list. I still have not got it yet. It's been like two weeks almost since this. Um, and I'm not paying for that textbook. I've read the first two chapters for class so far. Tell me why in a uni course I'm reading the sentence a Venn diagram is two overlapping circles. I'm simply not paying for that. I'm simply not paying for that. So yeah, textbook. No, no, no. Bad time. I'm glad they didn't have it in stock that day. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And then later this afternoon, I think I'm going to go to a K-pop dance class where we'll be learning Fearless by La Seraphim. Isn't that fun? I'm excited. <laughs> um, and then tonight my uni's doing a screening of Minions, a new Minion movie. I don't think I'll see it. I didn't see the first one. <laughs> and I don't care. I don't think it's that funny to go see it as a joke. But it's a possible. It's there. 
it's there is something that I can do. Um, but there's also painting. No, never mind. It's on the same time as the class. I can paint whenever. Um, yeah. So let's get dressed. Because I'm in my pajamas. It's like 1.30 now. And I'm dressed. Um, and I'm ready to leave. But I started feeling nauseous again. So I stopped. But I've eaten the banana. It wasn't very good though because I put it in the fridge. Because I forgot. I don't know why I put it in the fridge. You don't put bananas in the fridge. Now I'm finally ready to go out. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'll be fine once I start walking. So, oh, here's the fit check. It's my favorite sweater. I love it so much. It's so good. Um, and then, I'm not, I haven't normally been a black pants person. I feel like they're too much and they often don't go with my outfits. But I bought these like a month ago. And they're my favorite pants now. They're so comfy. They're so good. So, yeah. Um, we've also got these socks. I hope you can see. But they're Garfield. And they say month that I have daily Garfield socks. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> in a common room in the building and do some reading because I haven't done any of my readings and then I'm gonna go to dance class. Slay. Yeah. So I got back from class and I've had dinner but it was not it so I ate the apple crumble. Anyway I'm going to see Minions because my uni's putting it on for free so my friend wants me to wear a suit um however yesterday my 16 year old co-worker told me about how he did that and I'm not trying to be that like I'm not trying to be a 16 year old boy so instead I'm ripping much from the actual greatest movie ever made instead um yeah yeah for the Tuesday it's just me copying the slide the notes from my lecture slides for my political science course um, before watching the online lecture yeah I this semester I really want to be more on top of schoolwork like last semester I kind of slipped I barely did any of the readings I'm just like I don't feel like I got as much like just as much as I could have out of the whole course like out of uni as a whole like academically and mentally um, and I just, I want to do a bit better academically this semester. I did good last semester, but I, I just thrive off of academic validation, so, you know. <laughs> um, but saying that, I am already starting to feel it. Uh, we're in, like, week three. I've gotten, like, two assignments right now. I'm about to get a third today when I'm recording this voice memo, and it's already like, oh, God, how do I manage this? But I'll figure it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> And then I thought it would just be fun to like film me doing my makeup for classes on Wednesday. So this is the next day. So I just use like a BB cream as a foundation. No, not a BB cream, tinted moisturizer. Yeah, tinted moisturizer. And then I've been using this Doyen blush pack. You see me doing with the little arrows and just the little spots everywhere. The picture I saw, she used liquid blush, but I don't have any of that. And then I just blend that shit. Blend, blend, blend. Brush, brush, brush. Swish, swish, swish. Um, yeah, I do my makeup pretty much every day I leave the building. Even when I don't, I did it the other day. And I just find it fun. Like, I will admit it does help me with my confidence. Um, but I also just find the act of putting it on fun. Now I'm just going in with like a purple shadow, I think. And just putting that all over my eyes. And I do this pretty much any color or like 
palette that I'm using of the day. I'll put a base of everything and then just like build up darker shades in the outer corner. This is pretty basic. I, yeah, you, pr you, you probably could understand this. Um, I'm in a weird spot where I think I'm okay at makeup, but I also like am not at the same time. I barely watched beauty influencers growing up. And I watched like literally one makeup tutorial when I was 15 and then just went with that for like the rest of my life. Um, now I'm pretty sure I'm going in with a gel, like shiny shimmer thing. And then I just do my eyeliner. The gel shimmer thing is the Morphe 2 one. Yeah, it's in a rose gold color. And then I just use e.l.f. eyeliner. It's the best. It just, I've been using it for years now. It just hits. In like person, I get quite a few compliments on my eyeliner and I think it's funny because I've been doing it for like three years now and I don't feel like I'm that good at it, like it takes me ages to do it. I always still have to clean it up heaps with q-tips and I've never gotten the wings at the same angle. Um, so yeah. And then I'm outlining it with a purple liner. I use the Glisten uh, Water Activated Liners. This is like one of the split purple ones. There's like a darker and a lighter shade here. Yeah. So I'm outlining it with the darker shade. And I think it just adds a little fun time to a look. Um, yeah. <laughs> I also get a lot of compliments on my graphic liner and I, it created a complex. I like did it a bunch when I first got to uni. Like every day I would have fun eyeliner, but I'm in winter I wear more browns so they don't really match my outfits but for a while it created this complex where it's like oh my god I only ever get compliments when I have wacky eyeliner so that's a fun thing that I've gone through um <laughs> and then I'm just going over the top of my eyelid like above my crease with the lighter purple you know and now I'm applying this little pink glitter to my lower lid line that one is called, you know? It's like, yeah, it's a really good glitter. I've been loving glitters this year. Those, the ones that come in little, like, sticks, and I get them from, there's like this really nice Korean beauty store in Canberra. I don't know if it's just Korean. It's like East Asian beauty store. I've been loving their products this year. Like, yeah, <laughs> their eye glitters and their blush, the blushes they sell there, incredible. Also the lipsticks, so good. I just use mascara. I recently I saw a TikTok using the mascara I use. It's the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise one. Apparently it's really good to cry in. Yeah. And then I just put a little highlight on my nosies. And I think in my inner corners, I, to be honest, turned away from the video. Um, and on my cheekbones, as anyone does. The highlighter is also from that beauty store I was talking about. <laughs> this is a mess. Anyway. Finally, I put on a little lip product, even though I'm going to be wearing a mask all day, to the vibes. There we are. Here is the finished look. Yay! I'm like running late. Um, not really. I, my class doesn't start for like 40 minutes. However, I had a plan to like do my readings beforehand, like get a coffee and do my readings. And I also want to check out market day real quick. Because I feel like by the time my classes end, there won't be anything there. So I just won't do the readings. It's fine. It's just, like, the, the class is apparently just about, like, course overview. So I feel like I don't need anything. You know? I don't feel nauseous this morning, though. So that's great. Yeah. Also, the straps of this bag that I made, they are hanging on for dear life. I need to make them a bit thicker. But that's a problem for another time. I want to use this bag today because I think it goes with my vibe. Hopefully it fits my laptop. These aren't great. No. Gosh, I, need, I, need, I need food. I need, ah.
just found a grey hair. Can you see it? Look at it. It's not my first. But I hadn't... I've had them before. I knew this was coming because my mum started going grey when she was 19 and I'm 19. But like... Come on. Come on. I mean, it's not like it matters that much. I can dye my hair. Um, but still. It's rough out here. Anyway, my plan for today, I'm about to go to lunch. And then I'm going to go somewhere and study for ages because yesterday I only studied for like an hour. Um, yeah. Also, the vest. Okay. Let me just put you here. The vest. I like... I finished the two panels and joined it up. However, I'm not really feeling it as a vest, you know? Like, I, this is the neckline, and it's just, it, it's, it's feeling more like it should be a sweater. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, like, give it sleeves instead of just ribbing along the armholes. I feel like that's gonna be the way to go. I feel like I'm gonna, be, like, I'm gonna wear it more if I do that, because it's really thick. It's like, it's six, you use, we use double eight ply for it, so it's 16. Um, so it'll be really warm. So, yeah. At some point I have to go get wool for that, and then we'll see when I finish it. I've also started working on these sleeves, which I will probably make a video about. But look at them, they're so fun. Look at this. It's gonna be flared. It's gonna keep my armsies warm, but not even really, because there's like gonna be holes in it. But like, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, yesterday I was filming and I was like, there's something else and it was that I needed to say and it was that I got new jewellery. Um, yeah, I have a new ear piercing. It was not new ear piercing, it's a new earring. It's a little diamond. And then I put a little heart in this one. And I used to have earrings that looked like both of them, but I, I just lose them so easily. They fall out of my ears. And honestly, these will probably will as well. Uh, internally threaded, like... Jewelry and I do not get along well, but I'm aware that it's apparently better for your ears. So let's hope. I also got a new nose ring because I've been wearing like this one for the same like the same one for like years, and it was like looked like this twisty rope, um, so it kind of hurt sometimes. Yeah, I got them from Lavisa, and I know that it's cheap, but like it's cheap jewelry is not good. Um. However, whenever I go to the nice jewelry store, like the nice piercing shop where I got my septum done, I never like anything they have. So it's like... <sighs> Why would I spend money, like even though it's going to be a lot better quality, I don't like it. You know? It's rough. Anyway, I'm going to go get lunch and I'm going to go fucking grind. Westies, we have received a package. I have received a package. I know it was coming today. I've been checking my emails religiously because I got the text being like, it's been, it's out for delivery. And I'm so excited. Um, because the thing is, in my hall, like things get sent to the reception and then they have to email you being like, come collect your shit. And I was waiting for it to get here because if like it didn't arrive here like before five today, then I wouldn't be able to get the package until Monday and fuck that. So the package arrived up here in my hall at like three and then I've been like waiting ever since for like the whole email telling me to come get my shit but it wasn't happening. So it's like 4.40 and I just go down and I'm like to our property manager. Is that what she's called? I don't know her title but she's like the reception lady. She's a slay queen. I'm like bestie. Can I just get my shit? And I get it. I'm so excited. 
Here it is. From Bendigo Woolen Mills. It's cotton that I've ordered for a cardigan I want to start. Honestly, I'm going to start it right now because I've been wanting to make this pattern for fucking months. Ever since I've seen like the first pattern tests of it. Oh shit, that was very close. I was like, I want this. I want to make it so bad. So, we have this lovely brown cotton. Ooh, it's actually, it's similar to the acrylic I have, but it's so nice. It's walnut. No, chestnut, my bad, a different nut. Yeah, and it's very soft. I've used their cotton before. I used it for the Howl cardigan. So I know it's good, but I used the 10 ply last time. This is the A ply. So yeah, I've got a few of these. Two hooks, three mil, and 3.5 that's what the pattern requires and I didn't have any and if I bought these two I would have I got free shipping so yeah thank you for watching my unboxing video with me hope you enjoyed so my original uh, plan schedule for today was to wake up at 8 30 go down to breakfast because Saturday breakfast is generally the best um, Maybe do some exercise, because I wanted to try and start doing that. I was possibly going to go to a boxing class with my friends, but that fell through. Um, and then I was going to study a bunch. It's almost 11.30. I did not go to breakfast. I have not done exercise. I did my washing though. And I'm going to go to a cafe by myself. Slang. <laughs> kid I was playing so many games on it second update right now I'm at the bus stop again same bus stop as yesterday to go to the art gallery and do homework 